apart from longer term growth through our own network, uh, our own metal fleet and network expansion, growth through partnership in the form of code sharing will be a material part of the SA story in the immediate future. SA already operates an expansive network consisting of 26 destinations on the African continent, augmented by our membership of Star Alliance, allowing us access to hundreds more cities around the world. The Etihad Airways partnership announced here today adds a further 12 destinations over Abu Dhabi, predominantly in the Middle East, India and Asia. What this, this relationship provides to us is a platform to evaluate some of our international uh, network points. Etihad is a very strong operator when it comes to the Indian subcontinent as well as Asia. And within that context, we will uh, evaluate our wide body fleet deployment and our route network on international routes. To the extent that routes contribute financially to our airline, uh, as we embark on a process to return SA to profitability, um, those routes will remain. And to the extent that a route is not profitable, it will not remain. IATA's global traffic forecast showed airline passenger numbers in Africa set to grow by a compound annual rate of 6.8% between now and 2016. This is the fastest growing region in the world for passenger traffic. Africa's air cargo volumes are forecast to grow by approximately 4%. Southern Africa will deliver a significant portion of this growth. Participation in Africa is critical for the continued growth of Etihad Airways. Etihad Airways currently operates seven flights a week between Abu Dhabi and Johannesburg. South African Airways partnership will see Etihad Airways gain in the first phase of the partnership access to 10 destinations throughout South Africa in, in other countries across the African continent. All code sharing on flights operated by South African Airways. In return, South African Airways will place its SA code on Etihad Airways flights to 12 destinations beyond Abu Dhabi. The deal also includes cooperation between our frequent flyer programs. SA as a full service carrier's cost base is probably off the mark by approximately 20%. We've embarked on a process of cost compression uh, 12 months ago and we've generated an excess of 1.2 billion rand in savings uh, for the fiscal that ended, ended March 31st. We do believe that um, procurement excellence um, and uh, sharpening the pencils as far as, as costs are concerned could generate 20% in savings for the airline. Now that will not be done by partnership alone with Etihad. That requires vigilance and management within the business and then the procurement bulk that we can gain through partnering with, with Etihad. But the broad range is up to 20% through a combination of uh, initiatives. As far as revenue is concerned, we believe that um, an initiative such as this could easily contribute uh, 100 million uh, rand up in revenue, depending on how we expand the, the coach relationship. Aviation is a scale business. The more that you can combine, and if we combine our purchasing power in the market where we account for 20 million passengers a year between the two of our, our two companies, um, it stands to reason that you will ultimately get a better deal out of, the, out of the equation. We see value in extending the procurement side of our relationship within SAA. And we can source as one, whether that be in catering equipment, whether that be in components. There are many angles that we believe we can take advantage of together. Areas such as discussion as fleet is very premature. I think what is important is we take advantage of this first phase. Our roadmap in Africa is very limited. We see the way to build our African presence is with our partner, quite frankly, as we build their presence over Abu Dhabi to parts of Europe, to the US, to Southeast Asia that they can take advantage of. So it's phase one, step one. It's about working smarter. And from a strategic point of view, it goes back to what I said, you know, the Abu Dhabi government saw the benefit, and I am a state-owned airline, very similar to SAA, but with a very clear commercial mandate. It's not about building the largest airline, it's a strategy that's smart. It's a strategy that achieves a right return. It is not a strategy of building the biggest airline. We believe we can build a global airline through partnership, and that's what we're doing.